Good morning, students, and welcome to today's class. So, in the last class, we studied what is LCM or lowest common multiple. Correct. So, what is LCM? LCM of a set of numbers is the smallest number that can be exactly divided by each of the given numbers without leaving a remainder. Or in simple words, uh, when a set of numbers is given, okay, and there are a few multiples, the common a multiple which is common among both the sets of multiples and which is the lowest or the smallest will be the lowest common multiple okay so lcm can be determined by we saw three methods listing the multiples by fact prime factorization method and by common division method correct so we saw examples for each type of method so, uh, in listing the multiples method, what you'll do, you'll write down the multiples for the given numbers and see which are the common multiples among the two sets. Once you find the common multiples, you will find which is the lowest among those multiples or which is the least among them. Okay, that will be your lowest common multiple or LCM for those two numbers. Then, by prime factorization method. So we have seen how to do prime factorization when we were learning factorization, correct? So uh, to find LCM by prime factorization method, what you do is they'll give you two numbers, right? So you prime factorize both the numbers, find the prime factors for both those numbers. Then from those prime factors, take each set of common factors once. Okay, for example, here they found LCM for 45 and 60. So, they have done prime factors for 45 and 60. So, what are the common factors here? There is only one. There are two sets of common factors. One is for 3 and one is for 5. So, what you will do? You will take this common factor once. That is, this 3 once and this 5 once. So, that will be 3 into 5. And then, what are the remaining factors that are not common? That is 2, 2. And there's one extra 3 over here, correct? Uh, sorry, over here. There's one extra 3 over here. So, we'll take 2 into 2 into 3. So, that becomes 2 into 2 into 3. The, these are the factors that are not common into 3 into 5. These are the factors that are common for 45 and 60, correct? So, we got these factors. Now, we'll multiply this. So, when we multiply these 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5, we get 100 and 80. So, LCM for 45 and 60 is 180. Okay. So, uh, next is LCM by common division method. Common division method is nothing but it is your division method only but you are dividing both the uh, numbers that are given at the same time. So, here we have 24 and 30. So, we will start with the smallest prime number which is 2. So, we'll divide 24 by 2, we get 12. Then we divide 30 by 2, we get 15. Now, here you see 12 is divided by 2 further, but 15 is not. So, what we'll do, we'll divide only 12 by 2. So, when we divide 12 by 2, we get 6. Which we cannot divide 15 by 2. We'll bring down 15 as it is. Okay, we'll keep 15 as it is. Now, further we can divide 6 by 2. That is 2, 3 is our 6. So, we'll write 3 here and bring down 15 like that only again. Okay, now 3 and 15. So, first we'll divide by 3. So, 3 1s are 3 and 3 5s are 15. So, we have 1 and 5 now. Now, we'll do 5 1s are 5. So, this 1 will bring down as it is. And this 5, when we divide, it becomes 1. So, now the LCM here will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, when you multiply all this, you'll get 120. So, LCM of 24 and 30 is 120. Okay, then we solve the exercise 3.4, right? We did all the questions and some we did for homework. Now, next we have something called a highest common factor. So, we saw what was lowest common multiple. Now, we'll see what is the highest common factor. That is the HCF, okay? The HCF or GCD. GCD means the greatest common divisor of a set of numbers is the largest number that divides the each of the given numbers exactly without leaving a remainder. 
okay so it is hf of a given set of numbers is the largest number that can divide the numbers exactly without leaving any remainder so the way to determine hcf for numbers are by listing the factors and by prime factorization method okay first let's see how to do it by listing the factors so here they have to list the factors of 36 and 45 and hence find the hcf okay so first what we'll do we'll find the factors of 36 so you can use any of the factorization methods okay or uh, instead of using the factorization method here here you have to write the number of ways you can write 36 as so 1 2 3 4 9 12 18 and 36 are the factors of 36 we have learned the how to find factors of numbers before so you can use factor tree method okay or other methods to do it so we get what are the factors 1 2 3 4 9 12 18 and 36 okay so you can find the factors by just writing down the number of ways you can form 36 okay so for example 1 into 36 is a 36 2 into 18 is 36 so when you write down like that you'll find the factors for 36 then factors of 45 are 1 3 5 9 15 and 45 okay so what are the factors which are common here the common factors here are 1 3 and 9 so uh, common factors are 1 3 9 which is the highest common factor here it is 9 okay so 9 is the hcf of 36 and 45 next find the hcf of 72 and 96 by prime factorization method so how will you do it by prime factorization method so here first you'll find the prime factors for 72 then you'll find the prime factors for 96 then we'll see take uh, then we'll take common prime factors okay we'll only take common prime factors in LCM what we do we take the common prime factors also and we take the factors which are not common also correct and multiply them to get the LCM but for HCF we will take only the pri uh, prime factors which are common so uh, once you factorize okay now if you see here which are the common factors so we have one set of twos okay now, so here how many sets of 2's are there which are common in both 72 and 96 we have 1, 2, 3 sets of common 2's. So uh, 1 which is colored in red, blue and green. So we will write that take, we will take only the common prime factors. So 2 into 2 into 2 and also you see that 1, 3 is common for both. So HF will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So when you multiply all that you will get 24. So HCF of 96 and 72 is 24. Okay so this is prime factorization method and listing the factors method. Now what will uh, now we will see what is the difference between LCM and HCF. Okay so we shall now compare LCM and HCF of the same number. To make it clear let us take a number example so consider the number 16 and 24 the hcf their hcf is 8 and their lcm is 48 okay hcf is 8 and lcm is 48 so now here you see it is the smallest number that can be divided lcm is the smallest number can be that can be divided by each of the given numbers without leaving a remainder so you can divide 48 okay by 16 and 24 okay without leaving any remainder and it is the smallest number which you can divide by 16 and 24 without any remainder then coming to hcf it is the largest number that can divide each of the given numbers without leaving a remainder okay so hcf is the largest number lcm is the smallest number that can divide the given numbers without any remainder okay then the lcm is equal to or larger than the largest among the given numbers so what is the 
largest given number here between 16 and 24 24 is the largest so the lcm every time is either equal to or larger than the largest number so here if you see 48 is greater than 24 correct then it is equal, hcf is equal to or smaller than the smallest among the given numbers hcf is always smaller or equal to or equal to the smallest number in the given numbers so what is the smallest number here in 16 and 24 it is 16 so hcf will be either 16 or less than 16 so our hcf here is 8 so it is smaller than 16 okay so lcm can be de determined by listing multiples prime factorization or common division method hcf can be determined by listing factors or by prime factorization so for LCM, you list the multiples. For HCF, you list the factors. Okay, so this was comparison of LCM and HCM. Now, uh, let's see what is the relationship between the relation between HCF and LCM. Okay, so there is a simple relation between LCM and HCF of two numbers. So HCF multiplied by LCM will should, is equal to the product of the two numbers so they've given you two numbers you have to find the hcf and lcm of those numbers correct so you'll find the hcf and lcm when you multiply the hcf and lcm it will be equal to the product of the two numbers okay so this is the relation between hcf and lcm for example here they've told hcf of 6 and 8 is 2 and lcm is 24 so the hcf of 6 and 8 is 2 and lcm is 24 so now we'll multiply hcf with lcm so hcf is 2 lcm is 24 so 2 into 24 is 48 and the product of the numbers that is 6 into 8 is also 48 so we see that the product of two given numbers is same as the product of their hcf and lcm okay now We'll see an example for that. Find the HCF and LCM of 45 and 63. Verify the relation between them. Okay. So, you have to verify if HCF into LCM is equal to the product. So, first we'll find the factors for 45 and 63. So, we have uh, factors for 45 as 3 into 3 into 5 and 63 as 3 into 3 into 7. Right. So, uh, what will be the HCF here? Write down the common factors. So, what are the common factors? We have 1, 3 and 2, 3 is common. So, 3 into 3 and there are no other common factors here. So, the HCF will be 3 into 3, 9. Okay, LCM, how will you find LCM now? First, let's take the common factors. That is 3 into 3. Then, the factors which are not common into 5 into 7. So, when you multiply, you will get 315. So, HCF is 9, LCM is 315. Now, to verify the relation, what you will do? You will multiply HCF with LCM. So, 9 into 315 gives you 2835. And the product of the numbers, that is 45 into 63 is also 2835. So, HCF into LCM is equal to product of the numbers. So, the relation is verified. Okay, now let's see a few questions on HCF. So page number 121 in your books, exercise 3.5. Question 1 is find the HCF by listing the factors. So we need to find HCF by listing factors. So first one is 12 and 20. So here 12 and 20. So first what we'll do is we'll list the factors of 12. So what are the factors of 12? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So these are the factors of 12. And the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Okay. So what are the common factors of 12 and 20? We have 1, 2, 4. Correct. 1, 2, 4 are the common factors. And which is the highest common factor here? 4 is the highest common factor. So let's say for 12 and 20 is... 4. Copy down the answer here. Now we will do the next question. Question B. 
so 1b is 10 and 25 so first we will write down the factors of 25 so we have 1 2 5 and 10 and then factors of 25 are 1 5 and 25 so here the common factors are 1 and 5 and what is the highest common factor here it is among uh, largest among 1 and 5 is 5 so hcf is Okay, HCF of 10 and 25 is 5. Then, copy this and we can do the C1. C1 is 28 and 21. So, first we will write the factors of 28. So, factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14 and 28 okay 1 2 4 7 14 28 then factors of 21 are 1 3 7 and 21 okay so which are the common factors here now common factors we have 1 and 7 so hcf of 28 and 21 is 7 okay hcf is 7 now uh, there's one more question question d which will you'll have to do it for homework Okay, question D here is for homework. Now, find the HCF and LCM uh, by prime factorization. Verify the relation between them. Okay, so you have to find HCF and LCM using prime factorization method. And also you have to verify the relation. Okay, which is HCF into LCM is equal to product of the numbers. So, first question here is 12 and 24. So, first we will do prime factorization. Okay, first factorize 12. So, we have 2 6 are 12 and then 2 3 is are 6. So, factors or prime factors of 12 are 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, then prime factors of 24. So, we have 2 12 are 24, 2 6 are 12 and 2 3 is are 6. So, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay. So, factors of 24 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now, we will find the highest common factors. So, how do you find the highest common factors? So, you have to write down the factors which are common for both 12 and 24. Right? So, we have 1, 2 common here. Correct? Then, this is also common. And this set of 3 is common. So, what are the common factors? We have 2. 2 and 3. So that will be 2 into 2 into 3. So HCF is 2 into 2 into 3 which is 12. Okay. 2 2s are 4 and 4 3s are 12. Now to find the LCM. What you will do? You will write the common factors. So that is 2, 2 and 3 and the factors which are not common that is this 2 over here. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. So when you multiply you will get 20. So, HF is 12, LCM is 24. Okay. Now, to verify the relation between them, we'll multiply HCF with LCM. That is 12 into 24. So, when you multiply, you'll get the answer as 288. Okay. And then the product of numbers, that is uh, 12 and 24. So, 12 into 24 will be 288 again. Uh, this is not 48, it is 24. Okay. So, you will write 24 there. So, HCF into LCM is equal to product of the numbers. So, it is verified. Okay. Now, question C. Uh, question B you will do for homework. Question C we will do now. Okay. So, 50 and 100. So, you have to find HCF and LCM of 50 and 100 first. Before that, we will find the prime factors. So, prime factors of 50 are 50 by 2 is 25. And 5, 5 is at 25. So, 2 into 5 into 5. Then, prime factors for 100 is 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. That is, 2 50 is 100. Then, 2 25 is 50. And 5 5 is 25. So, 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Then, to find the HCF, write the common factors. So, the, what are the common factors? It is 2 and 5 correct so we have 2 and 5 as the common factors
okay so we have two fives as common factors so hcf will be 2 into 5 into 5 so that will be 50 hcf is 50 then coming to lcm lcm will write down the common factors which is 2 into 5 into 5 then the non common factor which is 2 so 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 will give you a 100 so hcf is 50 lcm is 100 so to find verify the relation between them we will multiply hcf into lcm that is 50 into 100 which is 5000 and product of the numbers that is 50 and 100, 50 into 100 is 5000. So, HCF into LCM is equal to the product of the numbers. Hence, the relation is verified. Correct? Okay. So, now we did question 1, A, B and C. So, D is for your homework. And we also did question 2, A and C. So, B and D are for your homework. And question 3, that is find the HCF by listing the factors verified by prime factorization method. So, we uh, we know how to, we have done HCF by listing factors. We have done HCF by prime factorization method also. So, here what you have to do, first you have to find it by listing the factors. Okay, and you have to verify your answer by doing prime factorization method. So, do question 3 for homework and question 1D and 2B and D for your homework. I will continue in the next class. Alright. Thank you.